All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are playing some Kogma in the mid lane, and we are running Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Bloodline, Cut the Grass, Eyeball, and Ravenous Hunter. We're going to do a super scaling build with Kogma. We're even starting a call. My build is going to be we're going to rush uh, attack speed shoes, get a Rage Blade, and then get a bunch of uh, agility cloaks. And what these do is with the Rage Blade, it converts our crit into on hit damage. So we're going to have a ton of on hit damage without even a mythic yet. And once we finish all the cloaks, then I'll turn it into a mythic. We'll probably go Kraken. Maybe Shield Bow because of Annie Burst. But I'm hoping just to try and farm and stay alive early. Because I started Call. I just want to hit my Power Spikes quicker. We get Power Spike, or, uh, Rage Blade, and then we start getting some crit cloaks. And I got Barrier, so I should be able to survive. But we are going to be able to melt a Cho'Gath. We gotta get all six minions because we got a uh, got a call. I mean, Annie's pretty passive champ too early because she doesn't have that much range. If we don't go near her, she's not gonna hit us. I mean, I got the first six minions. Fuck it. Hey, we might even get her flash. Holy shit, we killed it! Wow. I say it every time, but Nunu is like one of the most OP junglers if you don't know what you're doing because all you have to do is snowball mid like that, and that's a free kill. I was literally just trying to farm, and we got a kill. I can't believe that actually was a kill. Like, she didn't want to flash because it was a level 2 gank, and she was right next to her turret. Oh no, I missed one. Forgive me. Uh, we're going to be maxing W. I should have put a point in E. For some reason, I thought we already had a point in it. But that's fine. We don't need it yet. Oh, I only missed one minion. Is she ignited? No, she's just taking a lot of damage. This is my W. My W and my autos is doing 4% max health. Um, She has armor. We're doing a lot of magic damage. Hogma does a lot of magic, too. Gangplank's already died twice. Okay, she wants to fight. I'm just gonna have to keep hitting her, because I'm not gonna be able to run. No, I lost vision and I was silenced. Ah! <laughs> I don't even die there. Oh, lethal tempo was stacking up, so I got the extra range, too. No wonder I was so strong early. Lethal tempo's extremely busted right now. It's more busted on melee champs, but it's still, still good. Okay, well, we already have, um, I'm going to grab the boots because they help us kite and get more autos. And next we're going into the rage knife, into rage blade, into crit cloaks. Okay, we've got some strong auto attackers. They're probably going to build thorn males, but I have bloodline I Took bloodline over alacrity because I think yeah, they actually capped attack speed at 3.5 with lethal tempo We used to be able to go over so We might even go over the 3.5 or just hit it. So I don't think we need alacrity Plus lifesteal is key for staying alive I'm right out of her range to actually hit me. I mean, if you insist. Nah. The Tradimir is either going to die to Cho or Annie. This is actually really easy farming. I thought this matchup would be a lot more difficult, but since she died early, she's pretty pretty tame. Although level 6 is when she actually does damage. She's gonna flash alt me. I think Cho'Gath's like above me here. But I might be strong enough where I just like, I turn and I auto him a ton before he even gets to me. Over here. 
They're running from something. I just need to auto six times and then I get the extra range. I got good vision. I don't know where Gangplank is though. Not plating. Yes, got it. We are the oppressive ADC in the mid lane. I've only missed like a few minions. My CS is actually really good. 61 at 643. Okay, let's do Rage Knife, Crit Cloak. And now we have 26 on hit physical damage. Who are you gonna go first? I mean, Gale Force is actually pretty good on us too, so we could dash in and keep autoing and kiting. I just, I will get blown up in one shot a lot. It might be more fun. Kraken is also really good too. Oh, she's done. I threw with the ult. Poor Annie. Hold on, buddy. Oh my god, it melts his health. Oh, ho, ho, that was so close. I had the extra range. I maybe could have autoed him one more time. I wasn't... I didn't realize I could still reach him. I have so much range, though, with my W and lethal active. <laughs> Look at this. I'm just bullying her. Just autoing her a ton. Under her tower. I'm gonna max Q next, because it gives attack speed, I think. Yeah, Gale Force would give us move speed to kite. We are like an attack speed on hit build, though, so I think I might have to go Kraken just because. Shoot, I need more. Oh no, we need 30. So I'm gonna do my little dance with my feet, and you're gonna go to scroll down and click that like button, because I said so. And even subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And we've got our Rage Blade. First item complete. Okay, so we got 40 on hit. I'm not sure what every cloak gives. It gives, um. I don't know. We'll see when we build another cloak. It's at 40, and it'll probably go up to, like, 50, 60. Why didn't I get the call? I have it still. Not finished stacking. Oh, yeah. What's OP about Rageblade, I forgot, is um, every third hit, it applies our W twice. I wonder if that stacks up our lethal tempo faster. I mean, if she just all-ins and ults me right away, that would probably be her best plan of action to actually dealing with me. Because otherwise... <laughs> otherwise, I just auto her to death. Oh my god, that range is disgusting. She can't reach me. She has to just ult me. If she doesn't just ult me, she doesn't get to play the game. I'm like right out of her range. I can melt this guy. Great lantern. Um, the other bot lane hasn't died yet. I don't really want to walk down there though. I might get a Phantom Dancer right after Mythic. 
Because that'll ramp up my attack speed even more. I'm gonna make this poor Annie AFK if I keep killing her. Well, there's a lot of them bot. I'm really... I need a base before I fight them, but uh, they'll be gone. Let's see my kiting skills. Oh my god. Look at my range! Look at my range! No, my lethal's running out. Come here. Please don't have flash. Please don't have flash. Yes! She had flash. And he just got a double kill. Dude, I'm actually so powerful. I'm autoing them from so far away. Oh, there's a Teemo. Mind me just taking the, uh, taking the minions. How is that thing still alive? No, no, no. Yes, thank you, Annie. Okay, look at this. Watch this buy. What did we just do? Look at our build. Look at all those crit cloaks. Now we have 160 on hit. We just quadrupled it. Even more than that. I think Trent's got him. Gun got him. Come here, let me auto you. <laughs> Was that four auto attacks? Three, three auto attacks. I only got three lethal stacks. And I almost killed her. That damage is crazy. No, my cannon. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Keep autoing, Kogma. Keep autoing. Okay, this build is OP. Holy shit. I literally just turn and fight. Dude, I am so powerful. I'm just gonna limit test. I'm gonna keep pushing till I die, because... I'll even die to gank, like, I don't care, he's 0-5. Dude, he's gonna die. Dude, I almost killed Jinx, too. <laughs> I'll take it. Dude, holy cow, we have- we almost have Mythic. Um... I mean, I could buy the PD right here. I actually kind of want to buy the PD. Wait a second. Why is my attack speed 2.5? Is it bugged? Why am I at max attack speed? Let's wait and see when I spawn. Cause I, I don't have attack, I don't have that much attack speed items. Okay, it went down, okay. Ooh, I kinda want the runins too, man. Ooh, 200 gold on mythic though. Okay, I'm going Phantom Dancer because it'll ramp up my attack speed even faster when I start hitting them. That's disgusting, though. My auto attacks are so powerful. It's chunking them for like 20% of their health every auto. And I have fully stacked Eyeball and Ravenous, so I have good healing, too, even though I don't have lifesteal. CC is my enemy, though. If I get CC'd, like, I'm surprised I didn't get Annie stun there twice. Oh, I attack fast. Dude, I don't care. Okay, I do care. I don't have a W up. Let's see, what is my life steal? 9%? I mean, I could heal full off 9%. They're going to try and hit me with a Jinx ult, though. They need to hit me with an ability, then a Jinx ult. Oh, yeah, I'm healing a lot. Look at that healing. Because we're dealing so much damage. Now I'm back to full health. What are you guys going to do? I killed Cho'Goth just as fast as I kill like, their bot lane. Oh, I got hit. Oh, no. I saw Annie. He 
you got me with the flash hole. I can't move. I gotta fight. I think I don't get anything here. This guy's gonna live. Oh, so close. Okay. We kind of need Mythic next. We can't even buy anything here. I might. I think we'll actually get attack speed cap even without Kraken. I don't think we need the Kraken. I might actually go Gale Force because I could really use that. I mean, Cringe Bow would be really good too because then I could just stand still and tank them also. I'm not sure. I don't think we need Kraken. And plus, Kraken doesn't even proc off Rage Blade. Yeah, we're not going to go Kraken. I'm either going to go Gale Force or Cringe Bow. It depends how easy I die. But I really like the dash on Gale because then it's like an extra flash. I could dodge those Cho'Gath knockups. Or get in range to keep autoing them. But Annie, if I give Annie enough kills, she's going to one-shot me. The Spec Salt. I don't know where I'm going. I don't have a... Those. I think I have Mythic. No, I need 200 more. An enemy has been slain. We need Mythic Rudens. I'm gonna try the Gale Force. Fuck it. I can always switch to Cringe Bow if we are getting destroyed, but we're we're up three kills. It feels like we're up a lot more than three kills, though. I need to be careful with my W. I didn't realize the cooldown was so long. Oh, this would be a good dragon. Gives, eh, it's only like 5% attack speed. Not that great. Where am I using lethal tempo? Alright, we're doing Gale. We have two more items we can build out of crit cloaks. It's probably going to be Runins and last item, maybe Rapid Fire? I don't know. Don't need an IE. The W. I could definitely run down Jinx with Gale Force, though. They're still on the dragon. They could be waiting in a bush. Oh, they're so dead here. I can't see you. Come here. We got them all. I think. Oh, no. He's still got a bot lane. I want this one. I filled her with my own. Oop, two autos is all it takes. Get wiped. I do stupid damage. Oh, we could do Bloodthirster too. I forgot about that. It doesn't have to give attack speed. Did I get max stacks there? What attack speed am I hitting with max stacks? I just don't want to go over uh, 3.5. Come here. Come here. Oh my god. I flashed under their turret and killed both of them. That's so much damage. <laughs> I mean, if I was, if I wasn't trying so hard, I don't think I would have went under the turret like that. Runins, I'm at. I can't tell till I respawn. I have 18 kills. Alright, let's see our attack speed. I mean, I think we can go one more attack speed item. 
because we got to get to 3.5. I just need to see how much it goes up after I auto six times. The problem is, I think they die in six autos because I'm so strong. I just send it. Oh, I kind of sent it too hard into that. <laughs> I had a feeling she was around, but I think she flashed for me. I'm not sure. Yeah, she did flash. Primary's gonna die here. Couldn't use his ult. Um, I'm capped at 2.5, no lethal. No, I thought lethal makes you go to 3.5 though. Yeah, attack speed can gain 2.5 if you exceed. Only when fully stacked, though. I might go Bloodthirster. I might actually go the BT, because they're starting to kill us, and I just got one shot by Annie there. Bloodthirster will give me some shield. But also, um... Oh, yeah, I get attack speed from Phantom, so yeah, we don't need more. I got CC'd. I think I outheal their damage. should kill him. Cheat can shield their allies. Oh my god, that's the first time I've seen somebody do that in a long time. We could just Baron. They're all low. If only my Gale Force is up. The only thing is Gale Force actually has a long cooldown. I melt this though. I could get, um, Quick Blades and then my W would permanently be up. I kind of want to survive, though, you know. Is that 2.74 with full stacks? Are you sure? Can somebody else confirm nor deny? Oh, yeah, I don't crit. Never mind. That would be stupid to build Quick Blades. Thanks, chat. Ever seen a Cho'Goth melt like butter? I almost fucking got them all. Well, that's full build. Bloodthirster may have saved me there. I was actually healing a lot. Like, I was still healing. I think... Okay, I was full stacked there, so what was my max attack speed there, guys? What was my max attack speed at full stacks? I, mean, I could go Lord Doms too. No, I do magic damage. I don't actually need armor pen. They don't have any armor regardless. Two point seven four. I mean, I'll go the Rage Blade and then we'll trade it in for something else. I can get Red Potion too. Yeah, the, the cringe bow might be better. We'll switch to cringe bow in a little bit. I like the gale force. Dude, I melt Cho. No, I couldn't see. Oh my god, that fat guy just walked. Oh, I'm gonna revive, right? Why didn't I revive? Oh no. Well, I don't think we lose. Why didn't I revive though? Action killed Cho. Oh, did Cho not kill me? Vex killed me. Fuck. Dude, that sucks. Cho went in- that big-ass Cho went in the little-ass bush and I couldn't fucking hit him. Yeah, Vex CC is annoying. Oh, Vex is actually really fed. I need to kill her. Oh, no. Eh, he got it. Fuck it. They don't get much of our base. I could sell my attack speed shoes. Oh yeah, I could sell the boots for a zeal item too. I'm gonna be so slow though. Oh, 
Um, I just need to be more careful. That was just dumb of me to walk to walk at Cho so much. If he goes for this barrel, he's gonna die. If I can actually start autoing them, I deal so much. But the second I get CC'd by Vex or Annie, I'm just fucked. But we can win off objectives, I guess. This soul is actually going to be so good on me, because when I die, I'm going to come back and auto them a fuck ton. We need to break up in an end hip, though. We need Trendomir too. Spawn. I have Flash. I don't have Gale Force, so. Put Send over Rapid. Yeah, that would be somewhat decent. Uh, I got Vex. God damn it. Vex and Annie Flash again. No, don't fight without me, please. We'll all die. Ugh. I couldn't see where the Vex is. Okay, we're switching to Cringe Bell. I'm sick of getting one shot. If we do cringe bow BT, I might have enough when I spawn. We just have to win off objectives because they're just going to hide and wait and one shot me because I have all the team's kills. If we lose every fight, I die. Yeah, well, how does this Annie always have flash? What a scam. At least I have flash up. I need to kill Vex. Vex is actually the one getting me every fight because she fears me. Uh, the last three times I died is because I get feared. I want a wit's end, but I, I can't, like, switch out of a crit build for the video. Maybe I get Merc Treads. Merc Treads would also make me not get one shot. But if they siege, this is good, because then they coming out. got jinx now too look at that range there we go okay that was finally a good fight where the the vex and the annie couldn't get to me wow my attack range was huge there i was at 315 3.15 there without uh without even cringe bow or not cringe bow kraken Oh, I tried to flash, but that's fine. I'm back to full health. Vex didn't go in with Annie there. I didn't even get to auto her. Nice. We got ignited, but I healed. In what world does that hit me? I literally saw her aim it this way, and I fucking get hit over here. What? Oh my god. Wait, we're losing the game. It hit Thresh in it? Wow, that sucks, man. Whatever, we don't lose. I was, like, not even close to that, I thought. Darn. I got hit by the splash. I think Nunu has this. You can't... Flash that. Oh. That Gangplank just does negative damage. He's 0 and 11. Ooh, Sorks would be good boots, too. I probably am doing more magic damage than physical. Although, this does 200 physical on hit. Uh, they're going to get the dragon, probably. But they have to deal with their base. I'm going to... I'm going to stick with the attack speed shoes. Fuck it. Let's just go to let's go to Baron because they're gonna go to Dragon. They're probably already on it. Look at the damage. Oh yeah, we have two inhibs also. We just siege top with Baron. Somebody might need to stop getting Clank Bob, but he really... Like, we left him alone top there for a long time. And he didn't get shit. Oh yeah, I thought I got a Bloodthirster. No, I got Cringe Bow instead. Okay.
What new drag do I like best? I don't like any of them. I really hate that you can't walk in the jungle without, like, being one-shot by an assassin waiting in it. Uh, this is a little awkward. Let me back up. Gren can just annoy them in their base. He's gonna go in. Too deep. Uh, my W ran out, otherwise I would have flashed and kept going for him. Vex shouldn't have gone in there unless it was on me. Or she should have, like, targeted me when she went in. Nice. Alright, GG. 28 kills. If you guys enjoyed the Cho'Gath video... No. Pogma video and you didn't like earlier then you have another chance to do so but otherwise let's check out the damage let's see if we did a uh, more physical or magic damage Twenty two k gold wow 65k damage <laughs> look at this chart it's like perfect it goes in like a cup uh, magic damage, physical. Wow, okay, we did more. We did twice as much physical. It's probably because of the on hit. Let's see. Lethal tempo was up for, I don't, it was at 113 seconds, two minutes. Cut the grass, did 1700. Ravenous healed us a lot. Other than that, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you again for watching. Have a great day.